Hi, my name is Moj Taylor and I'm here to try and give you 90 seconds. I never stick to time and it's a running joke in the push team. Uh, but I'm going to try and give you 90 seconds of my tips on what I wish I'd known about the university lifestyle, okay? So, uh, my time is going to start now, please. So, uh, what I would say is location. Location, 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 location. Honestly, think about where that university is, not just the course, because you're living a life there. Even if you are from London and you move to a university in London, you're still maybe gonna be in a whole new area of London. You might live in London and you might move to Exeter. And you might not realize that the Exeter campus is very countryside like it doesn't feel like you're in the middle of a city like the Manchester campus does. Uh, so think about where you are because being healthy, I think, in body and mind at university or at a college, because obviously you can go to college to, to do a course, uh, a degree course, is you need to be well rested and you need to be stimulated. You need to know that in that city or that town or that village or the field in the middle of uh, the Staffordshire countryside at university, you need to know that you can do other things. So not just clubs and societies, not just work placements, not just part-time jobs, but that might be a thing. Can you do, is there opportunities in that place to do work? But it's a work-life balance. When you're not thinking about your course, you need to feel rested. Uh, being able to go to bars, being able to go to cinemas. Can you do all your hobbies in that place? Do you not like hills? If you don't like hills, don't consider Bristol because it's really hilly. Uh, if you don't like flatland, maybe Cambridge might not be the best place because it's really flat. So think about genuinely the type of environment that stimulates you and in the winter because you are gonna be there in the winter months, September till about April. Think about, for example, I lived in my halls of residence near a hospital. I've gone over, I know I've just gone over, but I'm gonna tell you this story. Um, I lived at a university halls, halls of residence, my student accommodation, that was near a main road, and that main road had a hospital there, and that meant that I had sirens all the time going past, and I had a helicopter a lot, because it had a helipad on the hospital. So think about literally where you're gonna live. That's why it's so important, go and see the place and that's my tips in way over 90 seconds.